you should be able to find the answer in this answer grid using majority rule and the stranger. Then we can use the problem in the algebra to check our work. On the left hand side only two answers look like each other. Answers C and D begin with 1 over Y. On the right hand side three answers look like each other. A, B, and D end with 1 over X times Y. Since the right answer explains the entire answer grid, we can look at the strangers. One of those strangers just looks just like the right answer, but it's backwards. Now we have our right answer that was part of all our groups. It began with 1 over y minus 1 over x times y. And answer E was the same answer, except it was backwards. Now let's check our answer by doing the problem. If x times y does not equal 0, then x minus 1 over x times y equals we can simply split the large fraction into two small fractions with a common denominator of x times y. Now we can simply cancel the x's on the top and bottom of the left hand fraction and come up with our right answer d 1 over y minus 1 over x times y. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.